Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I've invented the five minute meeting. All right, uh, Ashland City Council meeting of October 4th. You know, this one says, uh, hey, it's a proclamation of Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, in 90, uh, 2017, Ashland approved Indigenous Peoples Day and encourages other businesses, people, business people to celebrate that. And this year, October 10th, is Indigenous Peoples Day. And she said, you know, I also talked to OSF Director Nataki Garrett and the Executive Director uh, David Schmitz of uh, OSF uh, about the death threats. And they have hired a private security to protect her and all of OSF. And the police chief is going to contact them and find out what is going on. And we need to hire a full-time equity, inclusion, and diversity trainer for the city. And then, uh, public forum, a uh, uh, lady in glasses said, the Transportation Commission is important for all sorts of things in town. Reinstate the Transportation Commission. And then, uh, the uh, uh, Arts Commission, the director said he'd like to thank volunteers, especially Peter Finkel, who guides tours and stuff, and the Truth to Power, BIPOC mural, giant spike sculpture, railroad park, the sidewalk medallions are coming soon, the otter lifter canoe in front of the high school, crystallizing our call sculpture, artist John Pugh, Joe is planning a huge Murray Earl on the side of the Elks building, and uh, they have requested to uh, request into ODOT to paint more utility boxes. And this one goes, uh, hey, your, your uh, leadership in calmness is impressive. And this one says, uh, thanks, to, uh, uh, thanks to this team. And this one says, I add my gratitude. And this one says, thanks for working through obstacles. And this one said, thanks for your grace through the process. Actually, he's a really soft-spoken guy, but it sounds like he's doing a lot of stuff. And then the uh, 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 community budget survey. You know, three uh, SOU PhD researchers said we had six uh, student assistants, and uh, to balance the budget, uh, we need to reduce spending, increase fees, or a combination. So I don't think there was a survey needed to say that. But then uh, they said we were trying to find citizen priorities and recorded 2,600 return surveys from the 10,000 sent out. And... Uh, you know, look, we all saw how terrible this survey was. Uh, at the meeting, the SOU PhDs made the process all sound important and following best practices and well-reasoned. But I think we've all taken thousands of surveys in our lives. And 100% of all people I've talked to said that this is the worst survey ever. Uh, it turns out like 85% of the surveys were filled up by homeowners and only 15 by renters. And 75% were over 60 years old. And uh, the general conclusions of the survey were shocker inconclusive. Boy. And then, uh, city manager's report, yeah, they, uh, there's mildew in the AC unit at City Hall, and we might have to replace that unit. And Indigenous Peoples Day is coming up, but they don't have a flag, just FYI. And then Pride Day is coming up, and they have a flag, duh. And the city will fly it. And then this one says, uh, hey, where's the list of services each department provides? We talked about this list months ago. And the city guy says, uh, 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 what's, uh, that's behind the budget prep. We're all focused for budget prep right now. And this says, I would like it before budget prep. And then this guy goes, hey, why aren't the monitors working in the, in the lobby or out for the uh, audience here at the city hall? And the city guy goes, oh, yeah, yeah it's a budget thing. And, the, and then this guy goes, hey, uh, a big enduro bike race last week wasn't embraced or celebrated by the city. And we need to accommodate this economic and cultural benefit. And then the sewer uh, master plan, uh, poop water, that's a sewer, uh, the 20-year plan of uh, all projects and their fees. And then this one says, hey, she goes, hey, uh, utilities uh, uh, should be more than 8 to 10% of a household income, uh, silos, and consortium of inverts and methodology revamping. And uh, she meant seeing individual fees for every water, electric, sewer project separately isn't as helpful as seeing all utilities added up together. And uh, the public work guy goes, oh, yeah, uh, every uh, fee for every department is listed as a percentage of the average Ashland income. We can add them all together, like you just said, in an enterprise and all the enterprise funds, but we'll have to build a program to do that. And then this one goes, hey, uh, are we talking about maybe capping all utilities at 10% of the average uh, citizen income? And she goes, uh, this one goes, hey, uh, she used a lot of words <laughs> and, and then basically just said yes. And then uh, this one said, uh, he says, I love this idea. Uh, I'd work with an ad hoc committee on this. And this one says, uh, do we need to uh, approve your master plan even? And the public works guy goes, ah, we need a, to approve his master plan so I can start budgeting and have all the latitudes and regular master plan stuff to 
to shift plans around and stuff. And it passed five to one. This guy was, of course, the no. And then a uh, stormwater uh, master plan. This is gutter water. Uh, this is a 20-year plan with fee estimates. And, and uh, the mayor said, hey, well, are these rates set? And the public works guy says, oh, rates, rates have to be approved every two years during the budget process. So not set. And this one says, hey, uh, what if we say no to a master plan? Uh, uh, public works, uh, public work, and then the public works guy goes, oh, oh, there would be a, a fewer things we can do, but we would still have to, to legally do regulation required things. And uh, says, well, I move to approve this. And uh, this one goes, hey, uh, she goes, regulations are critical as are grants. And this one says, uh, if we vote no on a master plan, we are flushing money down the toilet. And this one says, uh, no disrespect to public works guy, but I am voting no, and that uh, passed for tattoo the huge and then uh, a explanation of the how the parks department is going to work with the new city manager form of government uh, form. so the city manager says uh, so so city council has a final say on the main budget in general uh, but once the uh, city changed to a city manager form of government i city manager became uh, in charge of all city employees except parks and that created a confusion and he, he did a terrible terrible job explaining the new ordinance that he proposed is just 15 to 10, which is uh, on the ballot. And he's trying to explain why that he thinks that's good. And here's my quick stab at it, okay? Uh, right now, the city manager can call in any city employee to explain any situation that arises at the city, a complaint, an unclear activity, uh, a stern talking to you. I, I'd say he is the vice principal uh, of, of your high school. And that... Uh, and that he supervises, he includes the, uh, the police chief, you know, the fire chief, public works, electric. He doesn't run the departments, you know. He doesn't train cops or teach safety classes for linemen. His job is to keep things running smoothly. Problem is, parks employees only report to the parks director in the past. That's the way it used to do. And uh, parks commissioners. So this new ordinance says the parks director is just like the police chief or the fire chief and is responsible to the city manager, as is all of their employees. And, uh, uh, and so this one goes, uh, <coughs> I think that's, that's my understanding of it. And this guy goes, hey, he goes, hey, uh, why did this uh, previous structure cause our insurance rates to go up, which was hundreds of thousand dollars just recently? And the city attorney said, well, insurance realized that they needed to cover city and park separately, so that's more money because it's two different things. And then this one goes, uh, she goes, hey, uh, she goes, hey, did this uh, change happen because of the new city manager law or did you guys just decide to do this? And the city attorney goes, well, what's, what's the new city manager system? Uh, it, uh, it, it changed everything. So, so what employees report to who is unclear, specifically in the parks department. And uh, so to insurance companies, uh, they found that that was the problem. And even the parks employees are not exactly certain who they re respond to. That's a problem. And so he showed a bunch of graphs and stuff. It came up and they were super confusing. So they agreed to talk about it in the next meeting. Oh boy, I do not feel good about that. And then uh, the uh, three-year agreement for the laborers union, same deal as the other unions recently were made, except the employees are paying 10% of their health care up from 5% because they had a special 5% deal and everybody else had a 10% deal. So they said, no, 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 everyone's 10%. That's, a, that's a, it's like a, a fairness thing. And then this one goes, hey, uh, this does add $55 per household, uh, I guess. And then this one says, I'm worried about some employee, employee pay thing. You know, and a shocker there. And then uh, this one goes, uh, this one goes, hey, uh, why do these employees all get bonus uh, Mer Mer Mercy Flights service if Ashland has such a great ambulance service? Yeah, that's part of their contract, you know. And then the city manager goes, oh, if they need a helicopter to go to Portland or something, and uh, that gets paid by the citizens. You know, like us regular citizens don't have for ourselves, but they get that. So that's, that's part of the deal. And then I said, I think in future union negotiations, a, excuse me, a counselor uh, should be at the table. And this guy goes, oh, I totally agree with that. And uh, so the meeting's about to end and they're just about to vote on that. And then, oh boy, we're going fine. And then this one says... You know, uh, city manager is in charge, so we all can't get involved and decide to, you know, sit at tables with, during union negotiations. That's none of our business. That's the city manager's job now. And this guy goes, hey, "We were elected to chime in on things, and so if we need to chime in, we're going to chime in." 
That's our uh, prerogative. And she goes, we cannot chime in. It's not the rule and blah, blah, blah. And I, you know, the manager says something. We just do whatever he says. And then uh, they, they went back and forth a little bit. And then someone goes, hey, whoa, whoa, calling this, calling it. Let's take a little break. We're going to vote. Let's vote it out and get out of here. And then it did pass four to two. Gee, I wonder how that broke down. Four to two. And uh, so that was the end of the meeting.